Hey guys, Peter over here, Craigslist Hunter. It is last day of the month, July 31st. It's Sunday, just after 4 p.m. I just shut down my store. I close at 4 o'clock on Sundays. And it's only appropri appropriate to, um, God damn it, I can't say that word. Appropriate? God damn it. Anyway. It's time to shoot a video sales update what's sold on eBay, okay? Um, a lot of people think that June and July are very slow months. You saw the video that I did last month, did over 20K in June. Actually, July was absolutely spectacular. A lot of good sales, a lot of good stuff sold for me. Um, everybody thinks summer is super slow not if you're selling the right items, okay? Uh, so let me show you guys. I'm gonna pick like 20, maybe 20 some items and, and go one by one interesting items that I sold. Uh, let me pull up um, the eBay account, show you what's going on. All right, so we are here in front of my camera. I mean, my computer camera. All right, so we are here on my eBay. Let me click on my eBay here. Sorry if my hand is shaking a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna go to archives and let's scroll all the way down. All right, so this is what I did last month in July. <clears throat> 284 items sold for almost 34 grand total selling price. Um, that's a pretty damn good average. Uh, let me see what that comes up to actually. Let's see, 33,689 divided by 284. So $118 average. So that's, uh, that's pretty damn good. Um, I like to be over 100 bucks. That's what we did this month, so it's excellent. So let's go. Uh, all right, so we got this out of the way now. Let's uh, let's look at some items that I sold. I picked like 21 items that I think are a little bit interesting, you know, something different. Some of them are higher ticket items and stuff. Um, obviously, I can't show you everything, you know, 280 items. This video would be five hours long. So, but I think these are pretty cool, interesting stuff. So let's go through this. And some of these items came into the shop. Some of them I picked up at the garage sale. I think this is like 50-50. So I will get into uh, every one item and let you know which one was garage sale pickup or which one came into the shop. So let's do the first one. Now this is very interesting item here. And I picked this up from uh, a guy who I deal a lot with. He deals with a lot of vintage and antique knives and military stuff. Um, and one day he called me up, says, Pete, come on over. I got a couple different knives and bayonets that I want to sell. So I went to his place, picked up a few knives, and then I asked him, anything else you want to unload? He says, you know what? I got this Confederate uh, frock coat. Would you be interested in it? And he showed me. This thing was actually in pretty rough shape. It had some... Um, mud holes, you know, and stuff like that. Now, this is definitely not authentic, not from the Civil War era. This is reenactment done back in like 30s and 40s. Um, so definitely old, um, 70 years old or so. And I got it from him for a hundred bucks. You know what? I had this on probably for about three, about three weeks. And a lot of questions, you know, different people were asking, is this authentic? And I had to explain, no, this is not a real thing. You know, this is a replica, but it's still vintage. You know, this was made in 20s or 30s for reenactment probably purposes. So anyway, it sold for great money, $389, great profit on that. You know, I paid hundred bucks for it, can't complain. So, you know, stuff like that sells, just sells. People love Confederate stuff. Now this is maybe not a super exciting item, but I want to show this because I'm still waiting on pictures that the guy's supposed to send me. We sold this a couple weeks ago and uh, I got this in a garage sale for like five bucks. Five or six dollars. I mean, it was really, really cheap. It's, it's a vintage um, 
vintage, like an aviator, you know, pilot um, cap or hat, whatever you want to call it. And it didn't sell for a whole lot of money, $43.95. But the guy who bought it, it's a great story behind this because he says he has a motorcycle with the side card on it that his English bulldog rides with him. And he says it, <laughs> he bought it and he says it fits him perfectly when he rides next to him. He puts this cap on him and just hilarious. I'm waiting for the photos the guy's supposed to send me photos of his English Bulldog wearing this. It's just a unique item and it's just a cool story behind it. That's why I'm showing you guys this. All right, so what do we got here? These are sunglasses. Porsche designed by Carrera Aviator sunglasses with the case and they also had extra uh, replaceable lenses. You can flop them, you know, back and forth. These were at the garage sale, lady was asking 30 bucks for it and she knew that they were up there. She told me, you know, these sell probably for about 50 to 100 dollars, blah blah blah. So, um, she wanted 30, I offered 20, she sold it to me. These things sold instantly, as soon as we listed them, $149.95 with a $10 shipping and I mean within like a couple hours. Uh, so always look out for these, you know, Porsche design glasses. These were made in Austria. Uh, so this was an excellent pickup. All right, this next item I'm super excited about because this is what treasure hunt is all about. This I found at the garage sale. Lady was asking $15 for it. I got it for 10 bucks. Uh, it's an Ansania company. Back in the day, late 1800s, they were making a lot of these watches. This is an alarm clock watch. Um, they used to call them B watches. Fantastic find. Um, had a great patina on it, the way it looked. And the best part, it was in full working order. Uh, so unbelievable find for me, you know, for $10. And this thing sold immediately within... I don't know, even if it took a day to sell. $129.95 with $10 shipping. I love finding stuff like this. Now, of course, I'm on a roll of these Singer machines. You know, I've been showing you guys that th this stuff sells like hotcakes for me. I go out of my way. I search Craigslist and different, you know, apps just to find these because they sell so freaking good. Now, this is a vintage Singer. This is the child's one, the little one. I mean, this thing is tiny. This, this thing was maybe a little bit bigger than this calculator right here. Um, and I actually, I found this on a garage sale for 10 bucks. Yep, 10 bucks, instant sale, 99.95. Um, love selling these sewing machines. So I'm gonna show you guys another one here. Let me switch the screen really quick since we are on a singer topic. All right, here's another one. Um, this one, I wanna say we paid $40 for it. This one came into the shop, uh, not the shop here, shop in Chicago. This is 1953 Singer Featherweight Sewing Machine Model 221. Like I said, these things are on fire. $199, $29 uh, shipping, instant sale. So I can't say enough, guys, about these vintage sewing machines. They sell unbelievable, especially the featherweights, you know, the little ones. People just want them. All right, this is a fantastic item that we picked up here in the shop. Um, this came in probably about a week ago, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, about a week ago. Um, Daniel picked this up for four hundred dollars. Um, we even didn't argue with the guy. He came in. He says, "Listen, I had this guitar for a very long time now. This is vintage 1951 Martin, very sold after guitars, um, acoustic guitar." It had some work done and it showed quite a bit of wear on it, but you expect that on a 60 year old guitar. Um, we didn't even argue with the price. Guy said, listen, this is my bottom, $400, that's what I needed. And, uh, and we gladly paid for it because I knew we can, you know, at least double if not triple the money and look what happened here. But it's a funny story with this guitar because actually we listed it it sold immediately for the price that you see here, $1,495 with $30 shipping. 
and the guy changed his mind, right? So we had refund the money and he had some questions about the neck and stuff. So we actually retook a couple pictures and reposted again the next day. And, uh, and guess what? The same guy bought it. He says the pictures that we retook were much better. He feels a lot more confident. Um, the way we showed the neck on it and and he bought it again for the same price so this is already shipped out he got it he's happy uh, I love getting stuff like this you know because it's you pay up a little bit but it's a very good profit so look out for Martin stuff there's ton of collectors who absolutely go crazy after guitars like this and of course you saw this in my last video we just got this as soon as it got listed it sold within an hour that's how hot these apple classic ipods are this is seven generation 160 gigabytes uh, it had a little ding on top as you can see in a picture here uh, right right corner um, still didn't affect any um, Anyway, this unit worked, so instant sale. We paid $45, $199.95 with the free shipping. On this kind of stuff, I kind of have to do free shipping because there's quite a bit of them, big competition on them. So, you know, some of the items, um, I put free shipping on it. So that was a great pickup. And you can see it in a previous video. We knew right away, boom, that this is gonna sell instantly, and it did. All right, this, this next item is interesting because a guy called me up and I picked up the whole bundle for $450 from him of these different different commercial locks. Uh, this one that you guys see here, this is the electronic pet that opens up the door. You Usually you see these like, you know, in banks, um, in offices, people have to have a code to get in. Uh, a lot of medical offices use, use this kind of stuff. So total of about 60 different locks I picked up from this guy, from electronic ones like that, from regular one to push bars, all kinds of stuff. We already been selling a lot of it. This is one example. This actually one item alone paid for the whole, the whole lot. Everything else is just gonna be pure profit. Uh, sold for $459 with the free shipping. Um, so I think we're gonna do very, very well. I paid $450 for the whole lot, and I believe after we are done, I should make at least four to five thousand dollars on this lot so great pickup for me this particular piece I already showed in one of the previous videos um, that I was about to list this I picked up two two machines like this one a smaller one um, and this one for four hundred dollars of the guy now the other one I already sold for 250 bucks it was a smaller unit and this one we put it out for um, 1600 bucks it was on for a week and then I dropped the price by 50 bucks to 15.49. This is called Game Ready Cold Compression Therapy System. Um, and it was a funny thing, the, the people that bought it, actually a doctor bought it from California from some medical center uh, and we did the final transaction not through PayPal. He paid me directly with the credit card. Uh, that I ran it in a store because it was his business credit card that he wanted to use. Uh, he doesn't like to use PayPal. So, you know, still eBay fees on selling the unit, but there was no PayPal fees. I ran it with the credit card. Um, 1500 bucks. This was a great pickup, great money maker for me. And this thing was like in mint condition, fantastic condition, you know? So it worked flawlessly. So it was a, it was a good score. Now uh, this is very cool item. This walked into the shop here uh, with few other uh, older systems. This is one of them, vintage Atari 1040 ST. That's a computer bundle with a mouse monitor and bunch of discs. Uh, we paid $50 for this. Uh, in full working order, as you can see here, the screen is powered on, everything worked on it. Um, sold right away, really quickly. Uh, $390, uh, $399 with $43.95 shipping. It was bulky. It took a little bit of time to pack. Um, 
but yeah, it's well worth it. You know, probably good half an hour, 40 minutes packing this thing. You got the monitor and keyboard and all these, you know, all the software. Um, great pickup, love stuff like this. This is another garage sale find. I got this for five bucks. Um, I got few few uh, testing equipment from this guy. I made like a bundle. I think I got like four or five things for twenty dollars. So I figured I put like five bucks on this one. Uh, sold right away too. I mean, people love Sun Electronics. Uh, it's just old, cool, cool stuff. You know that that it's reliable and and a lot of guys like to pick this up. This is the model RDT10. Uh, sold within a few days, so five bucks to a hundred dollars with ten dollars shipping. Great pickup. Look out for Sun stuff. S U N. Here's another item that walked into the shop. Here, um, it's a vintage, like it's a. You, it's designed for watches to clean you know parts on watches and stuff but a lot of guys use this for different cleaning application um, it's got this little motor on top of it and it kind of spins in circles and you put certain liquid in those uh, jars and you put your parts in it very unique they don't make stuff like this anymore um, we paid 20 bucks for this when it came in here to the shop and uh, look, it sold for $299.95 with $30 shipping. It was actually big. This was pretty good size machine. So also took a little bit of time to pack, but uh, great profit on this. If you ever run into these older, like, you know, washing machines, you know, especially made by this company, CNE Marshall, uh, it's worth picking it up. Not much stuff like that is left out there, but if you find it, it's worth picking it up. And this is another item that came into the shop. You guys probably already saw this in a previous video. Um, I picked this up along with the picture of Chicago Bulls uh, from their championship. The guy sold the whole bundle to me, I think for $40. So I had like $20 in a picture and like 20 bucks in those mitts here and the mask, uh, catcher's mask. Um, Took a couple days to sell. We listed for $99.95 with the free shipping on it. And like I said, it sold after a couple days. So it was pretty good profit. All right, this is maybe not super interesting, but this surveying equipment, I sell all the time and it sells for great money. Why? Because it's super expensive when it's new. Now, three units came into the shop. Same guy, brought him in, retired guy. He says, you know, he's just selling off his stuff. So I bought t three different units, three different brands. They all sold. Uh, this is one of them. Um, Sakisha, this is a Japanese brand. It's got Japanese lenses inside, so it's a high quality stuff. Um, I bought all three units for him for $200. Um, and all of them sold in that 200 to 250 range. So, I can't complain, you know, this one sold for $199.95 with $20 shipping. It wasn't actually big, but pretty heavy. Um, so if you ever run into these surveying equipment tools, they're worth picking up if you can get it at the right price point. Now this I picked up at the garage sale, the whole set. I picked up the whole bundle of the guy. This is Topcon. Uh, this is a very good quality 35 millimeter camera back in the day, you know, in, in 70s and 80s, this was kind of top-notch stuff. So I got it at the garage sale. The guy wanted actually 100 bucks for this whole setup that you see here in the picture. And I talked him down to $50 uh, because I also bundled this with a couple tripods that I bought for him for everything for like 85 or not. Yeah, 85 bucks. So I had 50 bucks in this. Um, and this maybe took just a few days to sell. I think the week was the most, uh, 249 bucks. You know, there's a lot of photographers that follow this brand and, and it sells very, very good. So it's worth jogging it down in your notebook. Topcon, Topcon sells pretty damn good. This is another item that came into the shop. We, you know what, it took a while to sell this. Um, we picked it up, I paid $120, I think, either 100 or 120 I can't remember exactly now. It's been a while ago because first we 
we were trying to sell this jersey in a shop here um, and finally we moved it to eBay I think I had this for like six months so this is signed Jonathan Toe's jersey with COA from 2009 this is the special edition when they play one game a year at Wrigley Field in Chicago this is that winter classic um, so it was a you know no brainer for me to pick it up but I, I like I said I don't remember exactly how much we paid I want to say 120 bucks and I had it here in the shop originally for like $500 because being you know Blackhawks and here it's a local team uh, but it didn't go it didn't go here so finally after I think six months we moved it to eBay and I had originally on eBay I think for $3.99 and I slowly dropped the price and finally sold for $3.29 I guess Tolls actually signed quite a bit of stuff so you know there's the market is pretty filled up with with his stuff that it's signed by him but anyway still great profit you know sold for $329.95 with $10 shipping sports memorabilia when it's signed it's it sells pretty good now this is a cool find I found this at the garage sale pen is a very high-end company especially when it comes to fishing from making fishing reels to rods uh, mainly for deep sea fishing and stuff this is a downrigger this is a pretty big one 33 inch long one good solid equipment um, I got this on a garage sale the guy was asking 75 bucks for it I got it for $50 and then he had a uh, three or four different bowls um, this is a 10 pound bowl that comes with it and I think I gave him extra like $10 for the bowl so I paid $60 for everything uh, took a few days to sell but relatively quickly $249.95 with $18 shipping so if you guys are out there and if you run in to pen stuff P E N N it's worth checking it out because that stuff usually sells for very good money especially especially the reels the big uh, bait casters they sell for really good money now the reason I'm showing you guys this next item is because I sold I'm not kidding you over the years probably 15 20 of these suckers every time I find them they sell for incredible money this one I picked up at the garage sale and I'm sure you've seen it already in my videos every time I pick these up they sell for crazy money um, this one I got at the garage sale for 20 bucks um, no I got it for 15 I'm sorry lady was asking 20 bucks and I got it for $15 this one was actually in very nice condition I mean no scratches clean um, you know you sometimes you got to be careful because these big metal mesh on front of it on the speakers a lot of times they're dented um, this one was like in perfect condition and sold right away 159.95 with $20 shipping they are a little bulky they're probably about two and a half feet long and about a foot high pretty deep these are big units they got that subwoofer built in inside for that you know kick sound uh, great sellers that's why I'm showing this because they were massively produced in 90s and you can find quite a bit of them and they're worth picking up people love them they sound great instant sellers all right guys so this is the last item that I'm gonna show you and of course this is the holy grail of uh, of this month this sold for very good money for me and I was ecstatic when this item came into the shop I love absolutely vintage electronics um, and it sold exactly what I predicted originally we listed this item for 2500 bucks I wanted to list it for for 2000 Vicky thought you know we should try 2500 uh, because there were few available on the market but people were asking crazy money meaning you know 3000 3500 even four thousand dollars and I was like okay if we're gonna go in at 2500 we're gonna be one of the cheapest one with one of the nicest units available with a bunch of extra reels to go with it original box and we had a pretty good response had quite a few questions few emails about it we had 1100 views after seven days and 41 watchers which is very good but it did not sell and I, I, I kind of knew that 
wasn't gonna sell for that kind of money. You know, my idea was that two grand is a fair price on a market right now for something like this. And when we relisted, I relisted for five day auction starting at 99 cents because that's what I like to do when the data tells me there's a lot of interest. There's no worries for me, no reserve. I let it rip, create a lot of buzz. Um, listed at 99 cents, five days. Within 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, this item was bid up to 650 bucks. I mean like instantly. And remember, I paid $250 for this. So I'm already in a green making money. Uh, and then it went quiet the next day it got bid up again it went up to like nine hundred dollars uh, next day to like twelve hundred dollars and then it went quiet again for a day then it got bid up for fifteen hundred bucks it was like at 40 bids at that moment and it just stayed there till the end um, and then an hour before the auction ended, actually somebody bid it to like 1650 and then it just took off. Within the last, of course, minutes, it just took off, end up with 54 bids, uh, sold for $2,025. Um, and I'm gonna go in the back and show you guys how big is the freaking box on this. Uh, it's pretty heavy, so let's go check that out. Yeah, I mean, I put shipping charges on this for $54, um, which was kind of low, a little bit low. I should have put it a little bit higher because I didn't take the in consideration that I'm gonna have to insure the item, that it's gonna cost some money, signature confirmation and stuff like that. But this is the item. It's actually double boxed right now with plenty of padding and all the reels and everything is inside already. Uh, it's going FedEx. Um, now here's, here's the tricky part. Actually the guy had a PO box on it. So USPS will only allow to send you stuff to PO box. Nobody else can deliver it to PO box. Um, and you can only do up to 70 pounds. This thing is 97 pounds with everything. Just the reel to reel player is 62 pounds by itself. Um, so with extra reels and extra packing and double boxing it came out to 97 pounds. So I had to email the guy, ask him if he can give me his private address. He says no, just get rid of the P.O. box. This is a small, it has a physical address. The P.O. box has a physical address so just ship it to there. And he says, I do it all the time, put it with the marker on a box, uh, unit number, which I have here, like 369, and they will know exactly. So I did it through FedEx. Uh, it cost me $112, so almost double what I anticipated. Not a big deal because the insurance actually on this killed me a little bit. Insurance was almost 40 bucks on it, then signature confirmation. The shipping itself, um, was I think 67 or something like that. So that's okay, uh, I'm not complaining. I can add extra 50 bucks to it, well worth it. Um, and I already exchanged few emails with the guy. He's very happy that it's actually coming FedEx and not, not USPS. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, this was a phenomenal month for me, you know, I know people say summer is slow, but if you're selling the right things, June and July was incredible for me. Uh, look at it, I mean, July, almost 34 grand. Yes, it's not all profit. I know there's gonna be a lot of comments like there always are, you know, oh, blah, 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 you know, how much you really made. On average, it's 50% for me, guys. After everything is said and done, it's 50% profit on eBay. Um, so that's what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you uh, made some notes for some cool stuff that sells and uh, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Till next time. Cheers.